Now you're live. Hey guys, good morning. I know everybody hates when we do this, but we move it. Good morning, everybody. I love Simone Sandy. She's such a good customer. Thank you for watching. Oh, I know. Hello. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Wow, that week flew by. I know, it flew by. Oh, good. Happy live Friday. I love when I have makeup on and you don't, because that actually makes me feel pretty. Makes <laughs> me <laughs> not. <laughs> Usually it's the other way around. Usually you're always I like dolled up and I'm like a slob. Good morning. So what are we doing today? We are doing Christina's favorite look that she always makes me do on her, um, like a bronze smoky eye. There you go. All-time favorite. It's the best. You're getting all sexy for filming day. Hey. Show everybody your little braid today. So cute. We're like going for bohemian chic. Ooh, new style. You like it? Yeah. I do. New style in houses and hair and life. Yep. It's all about the boho. It's all about the boho chic. So today mm -hmm. I'm filming Christine on the Coast with one of my best, best friends and my publicist, Cassie. Kazab, where are you at? Kazab, get on here. Where are you at? No, should we say people's names and we alert them? Like, so <laughs> Christina and Shannon are calling you live. Yesterday I was filming Christine on the Coast um, with one of my favorites, Sharla, and Sharla's like, oh, um, I met a girl who's uh, one of Cassie's best friends. And I was like, Cassie's best friend? <laughs> does not have another best friend. <laughs> Excuse me. There's one best friend here and it is me. Cutter. Two beautiful ladies. That's what we like to hear in the morning. Thank you, Erica. <laughs> okay, should we get started? Yep. Yeah. Sorry when I move the camera, it makes an annoying noise. I know sometimes you just gotta do these things. Let's do it. So today's my final day shooting with Cassie. It's so bittersweet. I'm gonna miss her. So much fun filming with her. I love teasing her. I love teasing her about the dates. <laughs> if you guys don't know Cassie, she should have her own show. She's the biggest character. If you don't know, now you know. Now you know. Kazab, where you at? I am so excited for Christina on the Ghost. Oh my god. I was watching like an old episode of Flipper Flop the other day and I was like, I don't know, I know she means it. I'm excited for your, own, for your own show. <laughs> yes, are we all? She edited my show. I am in your show. We yeah. have set together. Maybe that's very fun. There's, we, I'm in two parts, right? Yeah. At least. Yeah. Yeah. are. That's the house we saw. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Which turned out to be amazing because the lady that owns that house has like a spiritual gift and they went to her for treatment for mudras don't ask mudras is this what it's called <laughs> yes. it's, it's well it's called jin shin jitsu and it's about um harmonizing your body yeah, i know I'm perfect always, for that i'm always doing something weird you are christina's the biggest hippie in the world like you guys don't even know you don't even know weird shit she does so i'm doing light medium concealer all over her eye Right now, just with a flat, I don't even know. This is like a paintbrush. Or <laughs> this is like the old, like some old flat brush. Um, just as a base, I always use <laughs> the brush I found in the garage. Take this shit real seriously. Yeah, we do. It's never really serious. You have to use the exact right brushes for everything you do. Um, and then I'm going to do Toast Shadow as a base. I always use Toast. It like, works perfectly for everybody. What I'm crystals do you them. buy? Oh, guys. Whatever she sees. <laughs> Do you guys really want to talk crystals? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, there's an amazing book called Crystal Muse, um, which I highly recommend buying on Amazon. And the store is Energy Muse. It's kind of near LAX, so I, mean, I don't, I can't go off it. But when I do, you just pick whatever crystals are calling to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little weird right now. But anyways, I really like rose quartz, and all my bracelets they wear are crystals now. But they all mean different things, guys. So some are for protection, which I really need. The she black needs ones. a lot of protection. I need the protection. And for my house, I just love clear quartz, like a big chunky one. It's amazing. And um, black tourmaline. Black what was black tourmaline though? Uh, protection. I saved my house yesterday and myself. Again? I had to. I was, just, I was off. Did your off. fire alarm go off again? No, I was careful. I was careful. Okay. That was a problem. Okay, what's the base concealer color again? Light medium. Light I always medium. use light medium. Big light medium person. Um, and then I just did toast all over as her base, but I didn't put it on her lid because I'm going to do a bronzy color on her lid, so I wanted to keep that. The base color is toast. 
Um, I wanted to keep that kind of wet for um, the color. Okay, so I'm gonna get real like scientific. Do it. You'll see. Right now. Okay, so I want. I'm gonna use bronze. It's bronze is available in the uh, regular shadows, or it's available in the soft and gentle color. It's this color right here. It's a bronzy color. But I'm going to wet it because I want it to be like more pigmented. So I literally am taking like a little like cap of water and I'm just going to dunk my brush in it first and then dunk it in the shadow. I'm going to see you do this. I oh, know, I'm really getting into it. You're like a wizard right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, beep. <laughs> I just spilled water on Christina. Okay, so I'm literally just dunking like a flat brush into it. As we're soaking my hair. Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. And then I'm just going to put a flat brush and just wet into the shadow so it's wet. So it kind of looks like that. Close. Mm, try not to get in her hair. <laughs> what is this too? So this like makes it more pigmented. So it makes it kind of like darker and stronger. And then you kind of want to go back and like wet the brush a little bit every other time. And then, so it stays nice. And I'm just putting this all over her lid and kind of into her crease. I have done this before. I think you just don't pay attention to really No, I, I, I don't. But I think I've noticed that you wet my eye. I <laughs> don't wet your eye, I wet the brush. <laughs> You're just filming Christine on the Coast today, right? Yeah, today's Christine on the Coast. Um, I've already, this will be my fourth house that I've wrapped for the show. The show's eight episodes. One is my own house. That one will be last because there's a lot going on there. Um, but this one is really special to me because it's one of my best friends and she's also my publicist. We've been friends since I was 14 and um, I have a big surprise going on at her house. Shh. Can't tell her. Oh, I'll see you later. Watch, you watch, you watch. Yeah, she does. Cassie, where are you? Cassie, where are you? Anyways, she stayed at my house for the past week because we we're doing the surprise for her. So we're unveiling it today. And um, yeah, so she, she, the house is in Anaheim Hills and um, it was her mom's house. And so it's special to us. But it's going to be a really fun episode because I love, we love cooking on each other in a, in a playful way. In a playful way. In a playful way. In a loving, playful way. That's how we always do it here. <laughs> when do you think Christina on the Coast is going to air? Seven minutes. It's going to air in May. Can't wait. Yay! Oh my gosh, it's soon. Wow. Oh, it's so soon. Oh, Halloween. Let's talk Halloween. Yes, what am Halloween. I going to be? I am going to be an angel. Oh. What else would she be? So growing up, I seriously was always an angel. Um, every year, I just buy wings and like an outfit, um, and that was my thing. But so this year is going to be exciting because Shannon's going to do my makeup angelic, and we'll go, we'll do a live video of it too. And it's going to be so good. Yeah. So I got go lots of surprises for my outfit. I mean, it's very exciting. Let's just say the hair is going to be very different. And guys, if you live in the area. There is this amazing Halloween store. Sorry, I look really scary right now. There's this amazing <laughs> Halloween store um, at the Triangle Square in Costa Mesa. Oh my gosh, it's like below 24 hour fitness. They have the best costumes ever. That's where oh, I got my so stuff. So good. And the kids' stuff. And I'm going to be real. So I love Halloween. Like, I like it as much as Christmas. And the kids love it. It's so much fun. But I like to kind of go all out with decorations. Oh, oh, you should see her house. So it could get a little scary around there. But anyways, like this is the first year that Brayden's, I guess, really like kind of understood that it's maybe a little bit like scary. So anyways, <laughs> I like went in my attic and I got all my stuff out, which is a lot of stuff. And I was like kind of throwing it from the attic to the garage floor. And Brayden was watching. He was like all interested. But anyways, poor guy had a nightmare that there was a blue ghost flying oh, in the attic. No. <laughs> Poor Bray. But he was really all into it. Like, he's obsessed with the decorations. There's bats and spiders and... Yeah, that stupid foot that you have. Like, the there's, foot. like, a bloody foot that, like, he's trailing around in the front yard. And every time we go over there, it's in a different spot. I think we ran over it last time. Literally in the middle of your driveway. I think I ran over it this morning. I think you did, too. He's going to pop a tire. What are you going to be for Halloween? 
Me? Yeah. I'm going to be a mega bar. Be a mega bar. I like it. <sighs> Taylor is going to be, well, she was going to be a vampire, but then, unfortunately, like, so she loves that catalog, Chasing Fireflies, and so she, like, can't wait to get the catalog, and she circles all of her costumes. It's this big thing that starts, like, October 1st. So anyways, I went to order it, and they said it, they're, they're no longer making it, because apparently, like, I don't know, it didn't get good reviews. So, oh, Whoa. Lord. Like, no. Yeah. So I took her to the Halloween the store. World. There's, like, ten other amazing vampire costumes, but, of course, she only wanted that one. So now she's being this, like, I don't know really what it is. It's this, like, golden princess. And Brayden is um, Paw Patrol, like a little dog from it's Paw Patrol. so cute. Yeah. It's like a bodysuit Paw Patrol. It's adorable. Yeah, and never gonna die. Yeah, it's so cute. So, cute. so I'm doing bronze eye right now still with this is the medium blending brush, um, and I'm just kind of blend using it to blend up into her crease, so that the lid is still a little bit more pigmented because we like wet the lid. Um, so this is just kind of giving it that smoky look, and I just am like softly kind of going back and forth. And when you put the shadow on the brush, this goes for any eyeshadow you ever do. I, I think the biggest mistake I see people do is when they put the shadow on the brush, they go, bleh, 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 like, just, like, dung it in there. That's wrong. Don't do that. Instead, go in little circular motions just on one side of the brush because you're really only using it to put it, like, directly on her eye and then blending it. So if it's all over the brush, it's going to be all over her eye. So you have more control this way. Just a little tip. Oh, my gosh, my stupid dog. <laughs> <laughs> and you're whining downstairs. Do you have any chapped lips tips? She's Aquaphor. I love Aquaphor. I really do. My lips are actually not going to Mine have been so chapped right now. It's so dry. So windy. I think your lipsticks actually are really moisturizing. They are really I don't really think these chaps are that much anymore. I know. Did you guys, everybody see the new website? Will I be able to buy Pink Test Cosmetics from England? No. No, we're not. We're only Canada and US right now. <gasps> and I'm sorry. We need to expand oh, yeah, my motherland. I know. Guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> <Some> drama. <laughs> I'm going to England next month. I'm going to have a, have a meeting over oh, there. You can bring Berlin does with you. So I'm super. <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be at the NEC in Berlin, Ham. Yeah, November 8th through the 12th. <laughs> Just slanging pink dust. There you go. Everybody wants it. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. actually a great idea because it's all men there. They could be bringing that for their wives for Christmas. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. Well, if you're standing there selling it, then they probably would. Yeah. I'll buy anything near. <laughs> okay, this is black eyeshadow. This is with the uh, medium crease brush. See how I just put it on one side again? And I'm just going to kind of start it in the corner of her eye and just smoke it out. A lot of times when I do smoky eyes, I like to... I won't do it, like, super crazy when I start. And then I'll do the eyeliner and lashes and then kind of go back. Because sometimes the lashes will like overtake it a little bit anyway, and then you want to add more or it looks good or whatever. So I like to start slow. And see how I'm just kind of going in a V shape? Like I'll start it on her lash line and make it the darkest there, and then just kind of softly blend it up into her crease. Because this keeps her eyes open and keeps them in, like open and like look in more of like an almond shape. Mm -hmm. so, that's key. Almonds are cute. I ate them yesterday. You did? I had to. Bad girl. <sighs> just love that. that Christina's smoothie. not allowed to eat nuts anymore. She uh -huh. that, I'm going. <sighs> that smoothie from Jams is so good. What is it? What are you? What is it called? Oh my God! It's called the oats, oats, nuts, and berries. Oh, that's like all the worst things for you. Oh, it's so good. I drank it yesterday. I felt fun. Because you drank one. <laughs> So good. I don't mind. I mean, no one knows what we're talking about. It's so good. Stop! <laughs> oh, you're so bad. Oh, so good. So good. Well, when you're next you have a headache tomorrow. I'm not here. Because <laughs> you know what? To this doctor that took her pulse and her blood samples and told her she's Basically, not told me I can't eat anything. And, yeah. I just can't eat. She's literally allowed to eat, like, what? Maybe a Ezekiel bread? I love that stuff. Guys, the Ezekiel Raisin Bran. <laughs> I feel like they've been talking about these damn English muffins for like Cassie like loves them weeks. too. Now she's been eating them every day too. Really? Oh my god, they're so good. Have you not tried it yet? No, I mean, I've had Ezekiel bread. No, 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 not that one. You've got to get this, this specific Ezekiel English muffin. It's in the frozen section of Mother's Market. Okay. Her I've seen it. It's delicious.
Everyone's gonna run out and get a zucchini bite. No, but it has to be the English muffin with the raisins. <laughs> okay, okay, others are really boring. When is Bright Eyes Powder coming back in? Oh, soon, I'm sorry. Oh God, everybody hates me. It's, it's <gasps> hey guys. Hey guys. Cassie, been there about she you. is. Everybody say hi to Cassie. We're talking about you, Cassie. Do you work out every day? No, she doesn't. <laughs> Cassie, yeah, they're so good, right? The English muffins? Cassie, can I tell everyone what happened at the airport? Ah! Yeah, but... <laughs> she doesn't care. You say no. But we are supposed to. She doesn't care. This is my the channel. Ball. I say yes. Wait. Yes. Okay, she said yes. <laughs> okay, guys. So, over the weekend, I did a, a seminar for learning annex about how to flip houses. So, me and Cassie and aunt went up to San Francisco and then we flew straight to North Carolina for High Point which was amazing and super cool and so many amazing ideas for furniture and anyways so it was a very quick trip we were only in North Carolina for like half a day and then we flew back home but so anyways we had a layover in um, Texas and it's a huge airport at DFW and we were like ready to hit a train because we really wanted to go to like the American Express Lounge, you know, and we didn't have that much time. And so, oh, actually, no, it was after. So after the lounge, we like had a cocktail and a bite to eat. And then we're like running back to hit the train because it takes like 20 minutes to get back to our terminal. And I started like running and then Cassie started running <laughs> <laughs> and freaking, she was carrying my luggage and the luggage <laughs> tripped her and she like flew in slow motion like, whoa. And then she like landed like a starfish, like spread eagle. And I turned around, I heard a splat. And then I was like waiting to see if she was hurt or not. And then she started laughing. And then I like fell on the ground laughing. And we were like crying on the ground. And anyway, she had to be there. But <laughs> Aunt kept sending Cassie all these YouTube videos of people falling to like the movie theater. The <laughs> Poor Cassie. <laughs> yep. That and cardboard people. That was like <laughs> cardboard cutouts. Don't ask me about that. there. <laughs> Mm. Cassie does not have a good luck at airports. <laughs> the last time we went to an airport for New York, it was me and Shannon and Cassie, and poor Cassie freaking left her left her phone on the terminal desk, and oh my gosh, this is a mess. The whole plane. Sarah Michelle Geller was on our flight, and Cassie's flailing around Sarah Michelle Geller. I can't find my phone. <laughs> I'm, I'm off. off. I'm off. <laughs> she says I'm off. Uh, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> I like falling apart. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, it's nice. It's entertainment this for us. This is the rebuild year. Watch out. 2019. 2019. Do you guys know anyone with cowboy hats from the Midwest? Send me Cassie. <laughs> if you're if you're a southern She's gonna charmer, kill us. you're gonna kill us right now. <laughs> if you are a sexy southerner <laughs> who's a, who's really gentle on the ladies and strong gentle silent, on the ladies, a strong, a strong silent type, <laughs> just, just slide into her DMs. <laughs> slide into those DMs, baby. <laughs> Oh my god. No, she had, did not go to Canyon High School. She went to Villa Park High. Okay. We're, we're neighbors. Okay, if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm doing um, Lux Cream Liner with the angled liner brow brush. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, guys, oh, Cassie's placing orders now. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> like, by the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know how to do this. Anymore. <laughs> Open houses. Yeah, we're doing one in Fullerton. <laughs> we're doing one in Fullerton. I think next week we have an open house. I'll post about it um, for Flip or Flop. And purple shampoo. I do purple shampoo every time I wash my hair, and I wash my hair probably once every three days. So I do shampoo, and then I do the purple shampoo, and I leave it in for about a minute, and then I do condition. Do you have a do you have a Dan right in the back thing? Oh fan. I'm oh, sorry. Uh no, no fan. Does anybody else hear white noise? Christy not the coast guys in there. I can't believe it. 
Cassie, I can't wait for you to see your surprise. Um, what purple shampoo do I use? Um, Shannon knows. It's on Amazon. When she comes back up, I'll tell you. What? What purple shampoo do I use? Artec. Everyone's hearing white noise. Oh. Artec. Amazon. Art How do you spell it? A-R-C-T-E-K. A-R-C-T-E-K. Yeah, they're hearing white noise. Is that me? I don't know. I don't hear anything. Lots of background noise. Is it a dog barking? Cassie, do you hear white noise? It smells like rain. Is that better? There's no floor on it. Sounds like a waterfall. What? <laughs> Fan noise, Cassie said. Sorry wind? guys, don't know what to say. Is it the wind? There's, there's nothing. There's no noise. It's like quiet as can be. Is it a plane? Is it a plane? It's okay. Just keep going. Ugh. Sorry. We gotta go to work. Gotta go to work. I know. Just ignore the fan. There's no fan. I don't know what to say. Like someone is blowing into the speaker. Should we go off and on? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay. Ocean sounds perfect. Yes, we're at the beach. Ocean sounds perfect. There's, sound. in the background. The there's <laughs> not even any ocean sounds. Maybe the camera's too close. Guys, what do you like the backdrop that she did? Isn't it cute? I feel like I'm like, it's some new, like, The voice is off too? Constant static? Well, what do we do? Somebody tell us how to fix it. Okay. Like this every time for me. Oh, no. Okay, well, we're going to have to work on that. You know what? Next time we're gonna do a practice, and you can start one and I'll listen to it. Yeah. Yeah, but for but now, you know it's hard. How do we do a test or live? Because if you're live, yeah, you're live. Unfortunately, you're live. I know. <laughs> this is only a test. <laughs> this is only a test. <laughs> a thing God, thing okay. does broadcasting company. Your sister said it's fine. Keep going. Thank you. <laughs> She's the marketing genius. <laughs> Aaron said it's fine. It's fine. Hi, Aaron. Okay, I'm gonna do lashes. Let's move this closer. I'm sorry. This is gonna make noise. Don't matter. Because I want you to see. Okay, these are two, no, 523s, just from like Amazon. I don't even know what brand they are. They're like maybe Cherish Look brand. Oh, a new brand, huh? They're, they're all like, it's like Christina or Cherish Look usually are the good ones. The ones that I give them the most. And then I'm cutting them so they're shorter because they're like really long usually. <clears throat> And and she doesn't mean cutting the actual lashes. She means like making them more narrow so they fit your lid. Yeah, making them shorter. And then I'm using, I like to use the black duo. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. And um, just do kind of a thin line over it. My favorite TV show is This Is Us. So delicious. So oh God, sad. So good. You know what show I've heard that people really like that you probably like is that um, that show about the guy killing himself. <laughs> I probably would. On ABC, like Small Miracles or something. Oh, I've never heard people of that. People say it's like this is us. Oh. But uh, my God, how sad. Like I would I don't want to watch that stupid show. I also was really, really into this is gonna sound weird, but the good wife. That was a great show. I really liked it. Did a, you end up liking law. it? Oh my god, it's so good. I like like a law type show where there's like there's like a lot of like lawyer stuff going on. Yeah, you do like that kind of stuff. I get bored. You look down. Oh, I'm also watching this really creepy show that you would like. What? Called Killing Eve. Killing Eve? Oh, yeah. What channel's on? Uh, I don't, it's on Netflix. I don't know. It is intense. Really? Yeah, it's good. It's, but I watch it before I go to bed and then I kind of get I know, scared. I can't watch it. And it's not worse than the nights and nights. Like, oh. I, get, I don't like watching oh. I get nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> the last scene was, yeah, it's still haunting me. Ugh, that's that's how that show, that sharper object show is. Oh yeah, that's I love oh. that book. That book is creepy. They made that yeah. into a show. Yeah, it was a show. Amy Adams. Mm -hmm. and it was good, but it was it's like so creepy. Yeah, that's real creepy. And she was like such an alcoholic. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. it was intense. What God, friend of mine, I don't really have cable, guys. I don't really know what to do. I don't either, and I miss it. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I miss it in my room. Put it back. Okay. I do have direct TV now. Oh yeah, that's like the same thing. 
favorite place to buy clothes? Oh, let's talk about the clothes. The struggle is real with the clothes. Gosh, I just haven't really liked like the style in probably like five years. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's just it's so floral. I kind of like like a slightly edgy look. Um, it's very hard to find. I'm gonna tell you, the last time I went on like GMA and I had to get a dress. Oh my gosh, remember oh my what happened? God, it was horrible. I literally looked for a dress for like a month, couldn't find anything, and then I brought a dress, and then Cassie was not happy at me. See you at the house, Cassie. And so <laughs> we had to like have this like emergency style thing come in, and, and I found a dress, and guess what it was? Freaking floral. Floral, of course. Well, now florals are kind of like, I feel like it's all getting, I think God sweaters are going back. Oh, I love sweaters. I love, I love fall. Fall's the best season. I love just like chunky sweaters, jeans with rips in them, and, the, and boots. I know. <laughs> Uniform every day. Um, I just haven't, I used to really, I know everyone's probably going to get offended, but okay. I used to really love dresses from For Love and Lemons, and I kind of think they got like a new stylist. Yeah, they're weird now. Oh my God, they're so weird now. Like, I don't even know how anyone wears it. It's just, the, the slits are way too high, and then they're just so short, and yeah. I mean, like, unless literally you're like a stick, I just, I, I can't even see how anyone wears it anymore. Um, no these have the such cute stuff. That used to be like the only place I'd buy dresses from. Yeah. And then, I used to be like so into flannels, I'm not even really into them anymore. Um, I just get like over warm. Oh, I really like, uh, what's that store? I really like shirts that just have writing on them. Yeah. I really love Aloe, that clothing brand that's like Lululemon, but better. Yeah, Aloe's been coming out with really cute stuff. They have really, really cute sports bras. I just brought this really cute sweater that has like all these rips and random spots. Sheena loves her rips. So it's like, it's like, like, a, home, like a homeless person, basically. That, that, that's always <laughs> sort of been my style. Like, even it's like an junior, edgy homeless person. In junior high, I used to have my mom take me to thrift stores so I could buy clothes and she loved it because it would cost like one cent. But um, I used to love like shirts with rips in them and pants with rips in them and Doc Martin boots and um that was a little bit weird and <laughs> uh, and shirts with like Elvis on them that was my thing you would love shirts with Elvis on them you love band shirts yeah I still do I like this shit since I was 12 I know it's so funny so I so I just put her lashes on look at me and now I can kind of see like where I want to add more so I just I feel like it looks really good but I just want to add a little bit more of the bronze just in her crease, like bring it up a tiny bit more. Because sometimes when you put the lashes on, I feel like it can hide the shadow. So then you have to go back and then you can kind of see how high you actually want to bring it up. So that's why it's a good idea. Like I always do eyes before face. And even like to the point of like I'll do the whole like lashes, everything, and then do face because even the eyeliner will fall. Or um, like after I put the lashes on, I like to add more eyeshadow so that will fall so it's easiest if you just get in the habit of doing everything to your eyes and then moving on to your face that's just what I like to do <laughs> I that what? as long as Tari doesn't strike me uh, too late <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately it's <laughs> For where I like to buy boots, um, kind of like a variety. <clears throat> I like, I like there's one boots I've been wearing for like the past six years, the Valentina Rock Stud boots. Yeah, yeah. I'm wearing them again today, guys. So where she's like lives in those things. Yeah, I, I like like a combat boot, ready. like kind of a little bit edgy. And they're okay if you guys ever if you live in the area. I don't even know if you know the secret, but if you live in the area, there's this shoe repair place. That the guy's like a wizard, like he's a genius. He can, even if you have like Louboutins or whatever, I don't hardly wear those because I don't know over them, but um, whatever shoe brand you have, oh my gosh, this guy, it's like Culver Shoe Repair, holy crap. He even fixed like a really old Louis Vuitton purse of mine that just got all gross and it looks brand new. Really? Oh what yeah. What is it? It's genius. Uh, Irvine, it's called like Culver Shoe Repair, so it's probably off of um, the Culver and the Five. It's magic. You know all these like old, like super flat. She's a genius. Okay, this is light medium concealer. This is the best product on the planet. Best product on the planet. And we have, we're in stock now. We're not running out for a while. <laughs> Every time we do these, we run out of them. Um, and this is the Duo Fiber Concealer Brush. See how, like, barely I'm putting any on? A tiny bit goes a really long way with this. So this bottle should last you forever. It's not like one of those concealers where you have to, like, paint it underneath and you look like it. You're, like, 
an art canvas kind of thing. Like <laughs> 15 pounds of makeup on. Yeah, careful with that. Yeah. I mean, that's what you're going for. Go for it. But yeah, a little bit goes a long way. I literally put like three dots underneath. And I like to do concealer before and after. So I'll do it right now and then do her foundation and then go back and do more concealer and use it as a highlight. That's kind of my trick. Yes, Shannon's makeup is that pink laundry. And didn't they, aren't they having like a big trunk? Yes, um, pink laundry is having a trunk show right now. Yeah, right um, now. And they have the whole line there. It's all on display. The girls there are amazing. They know all about the products. They're so good to help you with. So if you are in the area and you need to be color matched or anything, and they do have check it out. the best clothes of what's they available. They have such cute clothes. I love it. So this is Vanilla Cream Photo Touch. This is what we always use on Christina. And I'm just using, this is like a large duo fiber brush. When is Christina on the coast of May? The live video will be posted for the next 24 hours. Too, yes. Right? So watch it. Don't yell at me when you can't find that for that. <laughs> People were getting so mad at me. I can't see the video anymore. I'm like, I'm sorry. It only lasts for 24 hours. You can't make it last longer, right? That's the point of it. It's the thrill of the live, yes. you guys. It's here and it's gone. Any boutiques near me carry her makeup? Well, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in Huntington. I know, Charla. Uh, <laughs> hey, Char. Um, no, you're only at Pink Laundry right now, right? Pink Laundry and Latitude 33 um, Hair Artistry Salon. And then we're going to be selling them in at Look Lash Bar in Laguna soon, too. But Huntington's not that far. Just come down to it. Oh, hop down to it. Charlie, you just let me what you need, and I'll get it for you. Yeah. Just you know we'll deliver it personally. Exactly. <laughs> I will deliver it personally. Did you really know her? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's on the show, too. Oh. She's amazing. That picture was so cute with the dog the other day. That That's her so dog. Cute. Oh, is that the dog? Yes. Oh, funny. Frankie is a star. He is a star. I love him. We're in love. And your makeup looks so good in that picture, too. I was like, yeah. We loved it so much, you licked off my blush. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Show the makeup Shannon makeup. should let big YouTube influencers review her makeup. I agree. I will let them. <laughs> no, we do. We have a lot of big, um, a lot of YouTubers review it. Kind of random ones. <clears throat> Favorite car you've ever had? My current one. Oh, oh my her, god. Her new car is so I'm cool. With that car. So perfect. I hope the white noise went away. It's a Range Rover. Got a 2015 Range Rover. Thank you, Jared at J Star, because I he's my old neighbor and I've been asking him to keep an eye out for one, a white one, because I wanted to add the black pack, which is like black details to it. And then uh, a friend of his dropped one off and it was in perfect condition because he had OCD. And then he texted me and then it just... The stars aligned. Yes. So this is light medium concealer again. I'm just see, barely putting like any on here. And then I'm using it as kind of like a highlight just to go up to her cheekbones. And I kind of pull it all the way up there. It just blends the concealer down more. So if you don't do this, I feel like you get like a little white circle around here, you know? And you look like you're like from the 90s again. So let's keep it 2018. <laughs> Blend away. It's a little contour. A little contour, contour. And then um, don't yell at me because we are out of this still. I know we're getting it back soon, I promise. This is Bright Eye Setting Powder. Coming back, I swear. It had to be like special order, like a million of them, because it takes a long time. We didn't anticipate they were gonna sell out that fast. It's all about the bright eyes. It's all about the bright eyes. And I'm just packing this underneath her eyes. Yeah, because guys, in your 30s and above, like, I mean, gosh, dark circles and puffiness, that, that stuff's real. It's and real. so that combination of the concealer with the bright eyes. This lasts me all day when I'm filming, all into the night. I wear it even, like, still out to dinner. I don't even touch it up. And it just lasts. And bye-bye dark circles. Bye-bye dark circles. And what the good thing about, even if you don't use bright eyes, but the good thing about, like, packing on any kind of powder underneath your eyes after concealer is that it helps um, with any kind of, like, if your mascara or your shadow hit underneath your eyes and you get like black circles underneath your eyes throughout the day from that, this will help with that because it absorbs the oil so it's not sticking to your face as much. 
Wait until your 50s, I know. Trust me. I'm hoping by then there's going to be some like miracle Magic that you just pill. take a pill and the dark circles fade. And yeah. then you, but then also the pill makes you like nice and tan. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone invents that, I'm going to be a pill there. Call us. <laughs> <laughs> we are here waiting. I came all the way from Spain to get one. You better have one in December. <laughs> to get one, what? She's like, I'm kidding. I came all the way for a haircut. Oh, that's pretty far for a haircut. Ooh. Somebody came all the way into Pink Iron the Latitude the other day to see Pink Dust from New York. And they were staying in LA. They drove all the way out here to fight some Wow. Oh. See, look at you. Oh, that's so cool. Big it's time. So nice. I forgot what her name was, but if you're watching right now, yes, you can order all of this online. Yes. So this is baked bronzer. I just used cream powder all over her face. I don't know if I said that. Um, then this is the angled contour blush brush. It's Christina's favorite part. So when I do her bronzer, I always start right at the, kind of like the highest point on her cheek right there. This is where you want it to be the darkest because you want everything to look sucked in and skinny. <laughs> this is the motto of our lives. <laughs> suck it in, suck it in and skinny. <laughs> and this is what gives you that cheekbone. So like I'm literally just carving out her cheekbone. I'm just kind of patting it around. I even bring it up a little bit into like her hairline right here, just so it looks natural because you don't want to have any dark lines. It's always good too to start your blush and your bronzer and your blush a little bit heavier because this makeup literally is gonna last Christina until like it's ten o'clock at night tonight. So it's good to kind of make the bronzer and blush a little bit heavier in the morning just so it lasts all day because once it it just kind of gets more natural. So like by tonight, eight o'clock, she'll just it'll be like more subtle. Except for when Dawn's looking off me. <laughs> Guys, where's the ant? Must oh, have been dead. does he know we're doing dead. a live today? Did you tell him? He's a bug. <laughs> oh yeah, your little handshake. Dorks. <laughs> dorks. <laughs> they are the biggest dorks. You guys follow them together. They're like made for each other. Aww. A little nerdy handshake, he's a, they do dances, and like... <laughs> oh, I just love him. Ant, that's your cue. Yeah. Cassie heard us. No. Where's Ant? Do you guys want to have Ant join on in the live one yeah. day? Would that How be fun? Yeah, do we do that? He just has to, like, ask to join on. People ask to join. We, we must not pay attention because people, like, ask to... Maybe this is what that is. Okay, I'm scared. Sure. Go live with see oh see that person requested oh wow yeah but then what and then they like pop on the screen so if we accept it they pop on the screen yeah. and it's like a split screen but then we can cut them off whenever we want so hello hello, <laughs> hello. Mm, this is chance yeah. this is his chance to be famous god it <laughs> blew it you blew it you're five minutes of fame is up <laughs> So this is hibiscus bleak blush I just used on her. This is just a really pretty everyday, natural kind of subtle blush. That, especially when we're doing a when I'm doing a darker eye, I don't like to do super bright of a blush because it kind of overpowers it. And then this is glisten highlighter, which is like just makes everything come together. And this is what gives you like the glow. This is makes is really pretty throughout the day too because as the day goes on, it just keeps your face looking kind of glowy and bright. Like yeah, it literally changes everything. Is that Shannon's blush? What's the color? Right? Hibiscus. 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 It's probably the most popular blush. Yeah, I really love it. And then I'm gonna use brunette brow pencil back in stock. Yes, best oh brow God. pencil ever. 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 Shannon's obsessed with these. You oh can go God. through these things. When I went to San Francisco, I thought I thought that I only packed one and it was gone, and I almost had a heart attack because it was my only. I didn't. I don't even use anything else besides that now. I know. And Did you find it? Oh my God. I was like, oh my gosh, we have a big gap in my eyebrow. <laughs> I'm really, like, freaking out. And then and then. I bought fake eyelashes, but I didn't bring scissors, so I just tried to use my nail to make them shorter, and I ripped out a whole chunk in the middle. Oh my so god! I couldn't wear fake eyelashes the whole weekend. I'm so sad. That's what you get when you pack your own makeup. That's what I get when you get out there. I know you're a hot mess. It's so sad. It's it, packing makeup is really stressful because it if is. you forget one little thing, it just throws everything off. I know. I should have a bag already packed that I never touch. And you've been saving it for years, and you never do it. Like, you didn't do it for me. Yeah, because then you lose stuff, and then you go in the bag, and then it's over. Why well, don't you hide the bag? You put the yeah, bag yeah, in the, the bag in a hiding spot for you. Where it is. <laughs> Just do not touch. Put it on a high shelf so you can't reach it. 
favorite handbag, it kind of switches right now, at what, I've actually been into it for a while, is like those uh, Louis Vuitton cross body bags, because weirdly, they hold so much stuff. Oh my god, have you seen how much stuff that handbag holds? Yeah, it you has, shove your whole life in there. It has three compartments, and yeah, you can like, I can like literally put a diaper and wipes in there, and the bag only looks like it's like that big, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, you put that one for a long time. If you like, you only use now like that one, and then you switch to your Chanel one. It's like a fancy thing. Yeah, I really like the Chanel boy bag. But the problem with the Chanel boy bag is like they don't hold anything, and then just, yeah, stuff falls out. But they are so cute. They are so cute. I only use those for like the rare occasion when I'm actually doing something fancy. I know, once in a blue moon. Once a year. When she's forced to go do something fancy and dress up, <laughs> take her her moto boots off. <laughs> I am going to Magic Castle um, this weekend. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, that'll be fun. I'm excited. I love magic. I just love it. I'm obsessed with magic. Magic and crystals and fill factor. If anyone has an event in the area, oh my god. I hired him for Taylor's fourth birthday, and he does, like, um, traveling magic. And, oh my gosh, it's seriously amazing. I don't know how they do that stuff. Like, right. how do they do it? I don't know. So, he's performing there, and so are other people, but I'm going to see him. Okay. So I'm using the bullet brush right now. This is um dark brown. When's Ann gonna propose? Oh Aunt. good question. When are you gonna propose? People are asking. <laughs> Where maybe Ann is on right now and he's just not saying anything. <laughs> okay, You're sorry. What, is You're this? what are we people. doing? What are we doing? This is um dark brown shadow and the bullet brush. And I'm just kind of I'm gonna use this and then a little bit of black underneath too. Just to smoke it out on the bottom a little bit. So it's still is. I rarely ever put um, like black liner inside Christina's waterline or really on anybody's waterline to be honest because I feel like it just opens up, keeps your eyes so much more opened up. Your hair looks flawless. Oh, she did it all herself. Yeah. Not. Everyone's always like, how did you do that braid? I'm like, I don't. <laughs> like, do I have a braid in my hair? Mm -hmm. No. I've been there for four days. <laughs> right. And then this is black. Okay. And I'm just going to do like a soft, just right in the corner. I don't, with the really dark ones, I only like to go like halfway into the eye. We just keep it the darkest in the corner. So it, um, you know, there's a lot of concealers. There's five colors of concealers. But light medium is the most popular because it just like worked really good on everybody for some reason. But there's light, light medium, medium, light peach, and medium peach. Oop. Oh, hubba hubba. Look at that smoky eye. And then this is Luxury Mascara. You ladies are the best. You're the best. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put this kind of softly underneath her, the lashes, just to blend her lashes in with the fake lashes. I feel like what I love about wearing fake lashes is that I hate wearing mascara. Like, I, I hate mascara, to be honest. Like, so hard. Because I hate taking it off. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, so I don't know why. It just is like, I feel like it's so hard. No, you know, like, it really is. It takes forever to get it I off. I know it does. The next morning, like a raccoon. I always fake lashes. I don't know if you Waterproof mascara is the worst oh, thing ever. Oh, it's the worst thing ever. I'm sure they could make them off for like five days. Yes. If you guys, like, are at your wedding or you plan on, like, going swimming, our waterproof mascara is, like, it is waterproof. But I'm not going to lie. For every, I don't know how people wear it for everyday thing. They must just have, like, mascara. And then they spend six hours at night taking it off with, like, a little makeup on. And then just when you think you got it all off, you didn't. <laughs> and then you wake up the next morning and you literally like a broken hand. Look at Then you come off as much like that. What mascara is that? Luxury mascara. Not waterproof. What lipstick should we put on her? I mean, obviously like a nude. Pretty. So pretty. Cassie, you better step up your makeup game today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the vanilla latte combo. And this is what lash glue to use. I use Duo Lash Glue. The black kind. It's on Amazon. It's everywhere. This is Spiced Out Liner. Bomb. This is probably like the biggest. This is so dirty. <laughs> yeah. 
this is probably my biggest go-to liner that I use on myself and Christine all the time. It just goes with everything. Um, and it's just like the right amount of color that if you wear a nude lipstick with it, it still kind of gives you enough line on your lips to give you color to the nude, but it doesn't make you look like you're like, but you know what I mean, super long. And this is in the um, vanilla latte combo and the warm nude combo. And we're coming out with three new lipsticks for fall. You guys are going to love them. I'm so excited. They're going to be here like in the very beginning of November. Yeah. Man, this backdrop is fun, huh? I know. I, really I had it up for my fall video the other day and I just left it up. So cute. I know, it's so cute. And then this is Angelina lipstick. No, aren't we all going to Yeah, we are. That's going to be in the doghouse then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next, next live video will make Ant come on. You guys will love it. He's hilarious. Yo, ew, hello, everybody. Hey, that's Australia. <laughs> that's how he talks to you, though. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a miserable. <laughs> Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. Kobe. <laughs> Kobe. <laughs> Kobe. <laughs> Kobe. Bangs get annoyed. You do have the best bangs. I do have the bangs. <laughs> really cool. Like if I didn't have it, I'd probably like get them implanted. You know, implanted. <laughs> so you have bangs. They're like vampires. You're so weird. <laughs> Like really into Twilight, like the sure books. you were. You probably make Amp put a freaking vampire across the line. Oh my god, god, I really wish. <laughs> I should make him a vampire for Halloween. Yeah, I would love to, but he's not landing until like seven thirty. Is he even gonna dress up? SEMA. You need to just get him a costume where he can just put it on. Okay. You just get, wear it on the plane. You need to get yeah, we're on a plane. You need to get him a devil costume. It's, all you have to get is like the um, like the what's it called like the. Cape, you know, and the horns. Yeah, no. that's all. You okay. just put it on. And fangs. And fangs. Actually, he already has fangs. Fang Devil doesn't no, no. have fangs. That's a vampire. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about making a vampire. Well, vampires wear makeup and stuff. But if you're an angel, is a devil. He's the devil. Doesn't that make more sense? Well, can't a devil have fangs? I mean, I guess. Yeah, I give him fangs. You, know. <laughs> you really want him to have fangs? Have fangs. <laughs> is that gonna fulfill your fantasy? <laughs> Edward fantasy. Oh my god, he's literally got all of your. <laughs> There's lip gloss everywhere now. <laughs> oh my god, Edward. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, good times. You, you literally have to just like <laughs> eat half the lip gloss. This is lip juice, by the way. Go to lip gloss all time. What color is this? Lip juice. Oh, lip juice. So this was Spiced Out, Angelina, and Lip Juice. Or it's the vanilla latte combo. Perfect combination with the smoky eye. Yes. Look at this hot mama. Do you want to? Okay, plug your ears, everybody. Sorry. Okay. Do you want to bring your makeup? Well, actually, wow. we're, we're going to remember to take Thank an you. picture. Thank you. How come it doesn't always look this? Shut up! It doesn't always look this. You're so dumb. That was amazing. Do you love yourself? I love a bronze smoky eye. You love a bronze smoky eye. We haven't done it in a while, too. But I'm not, I don't even have any plans tonight. We'll it's make just, plans. It's Friday night. <sighs> I'm taking the kids so much special. Oh, when we look out for that. Hot mama taking the kids so much Yeah, you can take it. You take a hot selfie with the kids. <laughs> Does the lip gloss come off when you eat and drink? No, it's really no. good. It's not too sticky. It's not like that like gross, annoying lip gloss, you know? I love the bright. Mm. Thank wow. you all. Thanks. You did today. Hey, guys. Hope you liked it. Have Thanks for watching. Have a fabulous weekend, and we're going to do a live video for Halloween. It's yes. Watch. October 31st. Live video. Um, we love you guys. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. We'll be back next week. Bye-bye.